So we're going to go over the best way to learn these new skills. Now, when you're starting this course and you're going through it and you're going through all this different information, it's going to be quite overwhelming at times because it's new information, it's new skills that you're learning, that you're developing, right? As far as digital marketing. And at any given time, you're going to find yourself stuck. You're going to find yourself uh, a little bit overwhelmed with the information. And so I'm going to show you through this particular lesson here how to go about going through the material in a manner that allows you to not get overwhelmed or what you need to do and should do once you're getting overwhelmed. I'm going to show you where that sweet spot is at, where it's not too difficult and it's not too easy, where it's right in between. And so first and foremost, what I want to go over is the stages of learning, how we go about learning new skills, new information, new material, and then how do we go from the unconscious to the conscious. So there's four different stages of learning that we go through to develop any type of skill. The first one is unconscious incompetence. This is where you don't know that you don't know. Think of something that you do well right now, such as riding a bike, driving a car, maybe playing a sport. Maybe you're good at football, basketball, volleyball, right? Whatever that may be. Once upon a time, you didn't know anything about it. You didn't know how to dribble a basketball. You didn't know how to throw a football, how to throw a baseball, right? However, now you're probably pretty good at it, right? And previously, you just had no understanding of how to even get started or how to even, you know, drive a car. And so what we do at this stage is we become aware. We start learning about the fact that, you know, driving a car is something that we can do when we get older. Uh, playing baseball, playing a sport is something that we can learn, you know, and actually develop as a skill, right? And then which leads into the stage number two, which is conscious incompetence. This is where you're aware of the skill, you're aware of what you need to do, and you practice it, and you're not yet very good. However, at this stage, you learn very quickly because the less that you know, the greater the room for improvement. And this is where you're most likely going to be at when you get started with this course. You have conscious incompetence. You are aware of the skill. You perhaps have been practicing digital marketing or you've you know, tried different methods to generate leads, get clients, start a marketing agency, and you've had a little bit of success. However, it's not yet something that you can really classify yourself or see yourself as an expert. Now, after you go through this course, that's where you're really going to be able to notice and see that you are an expert because of the level of information and the execution that you do by going through each section in detail and then being able to take action through that step-by-step -step formula that we have after each section. So this is where you're most likely going to be at and it's the best place to be at because it's where you're getting the most amount of improvement because you really don't know very much or you have a limited understanding. And then stage number three, this is conscious competence. This is where you have a skill, but it's not yet consistent and habitual. This is where we want to get you to. This is where we want you to be at after you go through this course and where you're going to be. Because if you go through this information, if you go through all the different sections as far as the lead generation, as far as the sales, Facebook ads, Google ads, right? Then you're going to know more than most marketing directors, most marketing managers actually know that are making you know well into the six figures right because you are going to have a very unique skill set here of being able to generate leads on demand right through various methods and so you're going to have this specialized skill but it's not yet going to be consistent and habitual you're going to have it available to you you're going to practice it and you need to concentrate and improve each and every day on this skill, right? You're going to test out a lot of different things. You're going to get feedback, get data, modify and adjust, right? And then finally, stage four, this is unconscious competence. This is a skill now that you have as habitual, automatic, and you don't have to think about it, right? Now, once you put in the work, you go through the course, you get a bunch of clients, uh, you start executing, implementing, 
and you're learning how to run a successful agency, then this is going to become unconscious for you. You're just going to inevitably know what you need to do. The thing about it is that you're going to come to the realization and realize that, hey, this is no longer a science. This is more of an art. And I get to express myself through the art of digital marketing and being able to utilize my skills that I've learned, that I've developed to get results for myself and for my clients. And so these are the four stages of learning. And now what I want to go over is the learning zone. Now we went through the different stages of learning. We understand that we want to get to conscious competence and then ultimately get us to unconscious competence so that it becomes something that is habitual, automatic, and we don't really need to think about it. However, when we're going through those stages of the learning zone and the learning zone is right in between the anxiety zone and the drone zone. If you look at this image over here to the right, you'll notice it's right in the middle, right? And this is where we want to be at every time that we're learning a new skill, we're going through the course material, we're taking action, we're implementing, we're trying to find out how to do something. More often than not, it's going to be in the course. However, anytime that you have any kind of question or issue, you want to make sure that you're able to stop and then look at the situation for what it is. If you're feeling overwhelmed, hey, Take a step back, take a break, and gather your thoughts, right? And so there are three zones that we want to be aware of. There's the number one, the drone zone. This is where you know what you're doing, but there's no real challenge, right? And this is where you do not want to be at. This is where you're at when you already know what you need to do. It's not very difficult for you, not very exciting, and you're just kind of doing it on automation and it's not very exciting, right? And then number two, like I mentioned, this is the anxiety zone. This is where you're completely stuck. You do not know what to do next. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling stressed. You're feeling helpless. And all your energy is spent on managing your stress and anxiety instead of learning. Believe me, I've been there plenty of times where, you know, I can't get the information correctly or right. I'm just missing something. I don't know what it is that I'm missing. And I'm just managing my stress and anxiety instead of actually learning, right? I'm going through the material, but then I have questions. Then I have some concerns. I'm getting overwhelmed. And all of that is pretty much doing myself a disservice because I'm not really learning, right? Because I'm more of just managing my stress and my overwhelm. And so when I can really be aware of how I'm feeling in a particular situation where I don't really understand something, then I can take a step back and relax and be like, okay, what do I need to do here? What other information resources do I need to gather so that I can not be in this state of mind, right? Not be in the anxiety zone. And then stage number three, this is the learning zone. This is where we want to be at. This is where there's a balance between the challenges and the skills. Because if we're in the anxiety zone, then we're not really getting anything done. We're just managing our stress or overwhelm. If we're in the drone zone, we don't have very much attention to it. And we're just kind of going through the motions and not necessarily learning uh, the right information or key pieces of information. And so we want to be in the learning zone as much as possible, where things are not too difficult and things are not easy enough for us to have a blank mind, right? Because oftentimes when we're doing things that characterize the drone zone, right? Our attention and our focus is somewhere else because it's super easy that it's become unconscious to us. And so we want to stay away as much as possible from the drone zone and the anxiety zone. And the learning zone is where we're going to be able to get the most out of our learning, out of going through the material, and really being able to absorb the information as best as possible. The most important thing to be aware of when you're learning all these different skills through this program, through this course, is your emotional state. How do you feel? If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling stressed, then take a step back, relax, and maybe go look for some other resources, ask a question, right? Do something to remove yourself from feeling that anxiety and that stress because it's oftentimes where you don't understand something, something went over your head, or it's just not too familiar to you and so you're overwhelmed by it. But oftentimes, it's very quickly and easily that you can get back into the learning zone. 
So that's going to be it here for the best way to learn the course material. We went over the four stages of learning and the learning zone and the differences between uh, the learning zone and the drone and anxiety zone. Okay, so that's going to be it here for this one and we'll see you on the next one.